The directed graph below shows the sequence of activities required to complete a project. The time to complete each activity in hours is also shown. The earliest starting time in hours for activity N is, and here are our five options, okay, so from three to 13 hours. So this is going to require forward scanning, of course. Let's first of all find our activity N, so that's N just there. And let's start with the forward scanning. So start with zero, of course. Now to get to activity N, okay, we can go through activity C. In fact, that's the only way to go. Going through activity B or A is pointless, so there's no point wasting time on that. Let's just start with activity C. So zero plus four, that takes us to the four hour mark. Now four plus three will give us seven hours, so that takes us um, to the seven hour mark at this vertex. Uh, this vertex here, there's two ways to get to this vertex, either from the seven hour mark, seven plus two gives us nine, or from this vertex here, which is at the four hour mark, four plus six is 10. So we'll put the larger of the two numbers, of course. Now to get to vertex N, we can either go through K, so 10 plus one is 11, or seven plus five is 12. So again, we put the higher of the two numbers. So the earliest starting time uh, for activity N is at the 12 hour mark. So option D.